So back again now for the last eggplant review I'm going to be doing, at least for now. Uh, this time covering the Haskawa T4 Ashia Special uh, Limited Edition eggplant. So let's get into it. <clears throat> um, now by far this particular release um, is arguably most complex thus far. Uh, here we see the clear parts, um, body, uh, landing gear, pilot. Uh, one thing to note however is um, the very delicate um, pitot tube here on the nose. That's something to definitely watch out for as it definitely is something that can easily be broken. Uh, wings, uh, tail, inlets, uh, not sure exactly what these are, but and then the bottom half of the fuselage uh, first, as all the previous eggplant kits have been just uh, two f halves of fuselage squeezed together, and more gear doors and little parts. Now, another big aspect of this kit is the decal sheet. It is very complex as you're given markings for just one aircraft. So, as you can see, it's definitely a lot more complex decal situation than in any other um, egg blankets. Now, another interesting thing to note is that it includes decal for the glare guard here in the front, which is nice as that. Given the curve there, it'd be very hard to accurately paint. Now, as you would expect, given the number of uh, various parts, this is a lot more complex to build than the previous eggplant kits, involving a lot of smaller parts and a lot more steps. Uh, again, markings only for one aircraft, but everything is pretty well laid out. And to look at the instructions, it seems like the only parts you're really going to need the paint are the body in white and the um, frames of the clear parts, as well as the engines. So. Overall, uh, I'd actually, I'm not going to say this, recommend this for beginners, as this definitely is a kit that is going to take a lot more effort and time to build, and especially given the decal situation for this kit, and very much the fact that you're going to have to carefully plan out the sequencing that you apply the decals, you know, I'd recommend this more for someone who's had some experience with model building. So, but yeah, overall though, it, it's a good kit and you know, very colorful, the decals are great, and it's an interesting subject. Yeah. I mean, you don't see aircraft in that type of bold color scheme anymore, it's usually your typical grays. So, that was the Hasegawa T4 Ashia Special. Uh, again, last eggplant video, <laughs> so go back to reviewing more normal kits and doing other stuff. So, uh, till next time. <laughs>